Hello, hello, and I'm Alice Carboy here with a first look at Nebula Realms. This is a game that's... The, the title has caught my eye for a while now, and I just never got around to uh, checking it out, so I thought, eh, why not? Uh, this is a virtual reality game, but you can also play it if you don't have a virtual reality headset, like I don't. Um, so so you, you still get to have a go. Um, I was, it's just a um, an air or a section, a, a selection of areas where there's various activities, and it's all online, and you can run around and meet up with people, and get to know them, and do different things. Like uh, this is the go kart racing. Um, this was actually quite fun. I mean, I, I only played it against myself. Um, that was an option, uh, but yeah, I found uh, the mechanics of the driving. Um, quite good for you. Uh, com some of the uh, things you activities you can do in this game uh, do seem a bit weak. Um, like uh, later on, I'll be playing um, a game of pool. Now, considering it is being played on a PS4, the the quality of the mini game was no higher than you'd get on a mobile phone um, in fact the mobile phone a modern phone will probably surpass um, the quality of that pool mini game but um, I, I had a go I, it, it was okay it, it was something to do um, th this does seem to be in a, um, a game um, where you it, it's set up so you can meet up with people and just do mini mini games and just hang around and go to dance clubs and things like that um, which you know sometimes you you need a, a break from the trophy hunting and uh, the boss fights and things like that Now this is in the the bowling alley, um, as you can tell. Uh, there's also pool tables here, um, pinball as well. I wasn't very good at it. I never have been, never will be. But um, yeah, the pinball it, it was okay. But once again, that was another th mini game that probably could have been better, <laughs> or would have been better, um, almost definitely on. Uh, mobile phone uh, un unfortunately I'm a little I've had my standards sort of set by um, Grand Theft Auto in their mini games their mini games they uh, they seem to put a bit more effort into it than um, the makers of Nebula Realm So I had I had to go the pinball for a while, even though it, I don't particularly like the game. Um, yeah, and I'll, I'll have something to do. You know, it, it, it fits. You know, it, it, and it fits in the context of this room as well, because you've got the pool tables, you've got dart boards, you've got um, bowling. Weirdly, I couldn't access the bowling, <laughs> which is the. The big sign outside says it's a bowling alley. You go in, and I couldn't access the bowling. I I, I don't know if it, there was a limit to how many people could be using the lanes at a given time, uh, or whether I just messed it up somehow. Uh, it's not very intuitive the the controls, um, which is a little frustrating because I wasted maybe an hour trying to get out of a gate. <laughs> um, just to get back to uh, I, I'd gone off to another area where there's a park and um, pedalos and th there's nothing really there of interest for me so I, I tried to leave and it took me well over an hour to actually work out how to get out of the place um, but yeah this is the, the pool mechanic the pool game and as you can see it's there's higher quality ones on smartphones nowadays. 
But um, yeah, it, it, it works. You know that um, you can play with multiple people at once. So um, if, if you're teaming up with friends, that's yeah something that's kind of cool to do. Uh, this is uh, that's the uh, um, well that was the uh, the bowling area. Um, is yeah, I tried to come over here for a drink. Um, it's not possible. Uh, over in one of the other areas, though, there is a coffee stand, and you can get coffee. It doesn't really do anything for you. You're just walking around with a coffee, but um, yeah, you can get a hot beverage of your choice, as long as your choice is strictly coffee. <laughs> one type of coffee. I did have a brief go of the darts, but I wasn't really impressed with the um, the control me method. I so very, very, very quickly I just gave up. And uh, yeah, there, there there was other stuff to see, and uh, I was conscious of the fact that I didn't want the video to run on too long, which I think is all automatically going to be running on for too long. But um, yes, uh, the darts. I, I wish it was that they'd made that a bit simpler um, to actually play. But um, yeah, if it's, it's there if you want to have a go yourself. Yeah, so that was my attempts at trying to um, take part in the bowling, and it just wasn't happening for me. But as you can see, there was other people playing. I thought I did think, oh, maybe have to get a pair of bowling shoes before I can get on the lane, but no, that was not it. It was a bit of a shame, to be honest, because I was kind of intrigued to see how good the um, the game mechanic was for the bowling. Um, although I suspect that, given how sort of mediocre the the pool and the darts are uh, and the bouncy castle, um, that yeah, the bowling would be only fun if you're playing against somebody. If you're on your own, and it's, it would probably be frustrating and or disappointing to play. Uh, this is uh, where you spawn in initially, but there's um, different areas you can go to. Um, as you can see, I've just moved over to the castle area. And the, the graphics aren't terrible. Um, that's one thing to say for it. And I, I do like the fact that there are multiple areas or you know, styles of areas you can go to. So th this is like the castle area. We just came from the, the Nexus area, which is the starting point. Um, yeah, I was quite surprised that you could actually ice skate here. Um, I, I don't know if you can do any fancy moves. Um, I'm certainly ice skating better than I can do in real life. Um, in real life, I'm one of those people who has to pull themselves around the, 
the ice rink um, using the the advertising boardings at the side um, and I generally end up on my backside I, I, I would have slipped over and landed on my bum about 10 times in that short ice skating sequence but yeah there, there was also um, archery um, which I was quite intrigued by um, so I decided to give that, that a go, as you'll see in a moment. Um, I've speeded up the footage for the archery because, yeah, it took quite a while. I, I, I'm not entirely sure whether there was any indicator to show the wind direction or, or wind strength or anything like that. Um, I just, it, in typical Malwas Cowboy fashion, I just jumped in without reading the instructions. So, yeah, there's a pile of snowballs, and you can have a snowball fight if you so desire. I was trying to um, get the footage of me throwing snowball in first person view. Uh, only that's not something that can be done. Uh, this is the medieval game room, so you can play chess, tic tac toe, and I think there was something else. I, uh, something else. Um, it's, I, I'm not a board game person, so I had no intention of um, trying out any of those games. Oh, checkers was the other one. Uh, this is. The, as it says on the screen, the rave. Um, the music was okay, you know, dance music, what you'd expect as a rave. There wasn't really much to do. I mean, you, there are dance moves you can um, do, but yeah, it's probably going to be another one of those situations that you'd have to have a group of people in there to make it more interesting. Uh, this is a, a different kind of um, club. Um, this is where I found a lot of the um, other human players. I, I'm not sure if there are any just AIs wandering around. I don't think I actually saw any. And uh, they're all they're all human players. Um, but yeah, uh, there's a quite a few crazy outfits over here. Um, I, I didn't really explore the um, the wardrobe options at all. I, j I just wanted a simple character where I could um, get in the game quickly, run around and see what it had to offer for um, actual gameplay options. Now, I noticed this uh, female avatar over here saluting. So uh, I tried to do it myself, and um, <laughs> it didn't really work. I just ended up doing this instead, which was the attention um, pose. There's uh, quite a conversation going on there. But yeah, I quite like the backdrop um, in this club with the the star starry skies. I thought it looked quite cool. This is one of the dance moves available. Or one of the dance styles available, I should say. There's several. But um, yeah, that was my attempt at dancing. <laughs> Uh, it's not something I do in real life because I'm terrible at it. Ah, uh, this is the beach area. Uh, well, well, that's 
pretty obvious. Um, but um, yeah, I quite like the, um, the the fact that they had this. It was just uh, something different to just the city and the castle. And uh, there is a, a park land area that I um, didn't get the footage for. For some weird reason, uh, um, this beach reminded me of uh, what was it? I think it was one of the Ghost Re maybe Ghost Recon Two. And uh, there was a um, an online deathmatch area that um, was all set up on a beach, and I quite liked that, that one. But yeah, for some weird reason, this beach reminded me of that. Uh, this, as you can see, is uh, mini golf. I didn't do a full round. I just did enough to uh, get an impression of the variety of holes that um, you'd be playing, or courses you'd be playing. And this is back in the Nexus area. That's just... Oh, I thought that was quite a cool um, waterfall or water feature in the, um, the centre there. Um, I, I tried to go into this building and then it I found out it was a shop, so... Uh, with no credits whatsoever, I just decided to leave. But yes, um, would I play it again? That's a big question. I probably would if I had several other people I knew online as well, and we were all mic'd up. But um, as a solo player, not really. But for now, I am Alice Cowboy. Thanks for watching, and until next time, happy trails.